Hello everyone and welcome back to Rimago channel. Today I want to introduce you to this fun little patcher device for FL Studio that I've created on the occasion of the very recent drop of our latest drum kit curated by XF Chiba. You can find the drum kit in the description and inside it you will find this uh, patcher device called Sonic Your Field. So this device basically revolves around two instances of SliceX which is a powerful and versatile sampler inside FL Studio. I've basically uploaded two long samples inside them which are made by piecing together Together, small beats of the sound from the drum kit itself. The first Lysex instance features more percussive and rhythmic sounds, while the other has more tonal sounds. As you can see, we got our two Lysex instances. Lysex is taking care of chopping up the samples, basing on a transient analysis. As you can see, it created all of these regions, all of these chops. The selection of the chops that will be replayed is randomized, because I've linked a random LFO to the MIDI selector of the notes, so you can obtain different results every time. Time. As you can see from the left slider on the interface, you can select which SliceX instance will be triggered. Alternatively, you can even blend them together by placing the slider right in the middle. Let's proceed with the controls in the center. The first slider, which I call smallness, it's basically an ADSR control of the samples. Then we got a very simple pitch control. Then the next slider is controlling a low pass filter and a very subtle wave shaper saturator as well. The very last slider on the bottom lets you introduce a second signal, which is going through a vocodex instance. The main chops that you've heard so far work as a carrier input signal, and the modulator is represented by a longer tonal sample that I got from the melodic folder of the pack as well. Lastly, the big white knob on the right is the control of a room reverb, which is once again working in parallel. And once you surpass a specific threshold, which is placed towards the end of the cycle, it will also trigger a sort of a house effect, which is spreading the reverb signal on the stereo field. So that's basically the device. One cool thing that you can do if you are kind of tired of hearing the same samples uh, over and over again is that you can load your own samples inside the inside the two different slice existences. That is exactly what I just did. I have two completely different samples, one drum break and one longer melodic sample. And that's how my final output sounds now. yet another sample here with two different samples which are both kind of melodic. That's it for the plugin walkthrough. I will now leave you to a more practical demonstration of the device by XF Chiba, the producer behind all the sounds contained in the Sonic pack where this device is included as well. And with that being said, I will see you in the next one.
It's really not that deep. It's really not that deep. It's really not that bad.